السلام علیکم ڈیر سٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس الیونتھ بائز ہائر سیکنڈری سکول ہیڈل سبجیکٹ انگلش ٹاپک از دا پویم وچ از نیملی وچ از نیمڈ ایز دا ماسکیٹو ٹوڈے ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر آئی ویل discuss about the first two stanzas of this poem stanza first is i will read it when did you start your tricks monsieur what do you stand on such high legs for why this length of shredded shank you exaltation I will explain these lines. In these lines, the poet addresses the mosquito as Monsieur, Mr. in English, and asks it when it learnt it is, why it learnt it is trickers, when it learnt it is trickers, it has thin legs on which it stands and flies to raise its legs. Perhaps it is legs enable the mosquito to have an elevated or exalted position. In these lines, poet addresses, poet says to mosquito as Monsieur, Monsieur in English we, Monsieur is called, is placed in in instead of mister and the poet asks the mosquito when he when he learnt it is trucus the mosquito has thin legs on which it stands and flies to raise its legs when the mosquito flies he raised his legs just like an aeroplane Perhaps it is long legs enable the mosquito. The long legs of mosquito enable the mosquito, enable the mosquito to have an elevated position or exalted position. It means that when the mosquito put his long legs on anybody. He stands high and his mouth turns to the elevated position and he drinks the milk, drinks the blood from the body on which he stands. Number two stanza. Is it so that you shall lift your center of gravity upwards and wait no more than I as you alight upon me, stand upon the wayless you phantom? I heard a woman call you the winged victory in sluggish winds. You turn your head towards your tail and smile. How can you put so much delivery into that translucent phantom shred of a pale corpus? Explanation of this sentence is, in, the, in these lines, the poet says that the mosquito goes up because of his thin and long legs. Mosquito has the thin and long legs on which he goes up. It is wayless. It is wayless. Mosquito is wayless. Then it falls upon or uh, descends upon the poet. When the mosquito goes, stands on his thin and long legs, he descends towards the poet or falls upon the poet and 
tricks his bullet. It is absolutely victory of the mosquito. The mosquito then turns its tail and smiles rather in a cruel manner. After, after drinking the milk of the pot, he turns its tail and smiles in a cruel manner. One wonders, one wonders how the mosquito can carry within its tail such a mischief. In these sentences, we discuss about how the mosquito drinks the blood of the poet. When he stands on his thin and long legs, he his mouth turns towards the or falls towards the uh, poet. And that is all about the two stanzas of the poem, The Mosquito. Assalamu alaikum.